Karanda versus Lunara. I want to have a good game against Token Druid because I feel like I've been getting pretty unlucky in the matchup so far. Shade Quill is really good against the other druids, but I think it's probably still most likely to be Token. I know I played against this guy earlier, but I've played against a lot of druids. All right, looks like he is token. Definitely think I can get more out of my pyro than this. This is probably good enough pyro for me. Looks like I'm burning the coin, but that's fine. Found the circle to go with my Auchenai. I have Zilliax, Shadow Priest. His hand is looking pretty good. Very slow turn from the opponent, but it doesn't really look like I can do much in response. There's no way I tempo Auk and I, right? Oh, well, that's the Auk and I circle. Hopefully he doesn't have another Whispering Woods, because I absolutely can't deal with it. Okay, so my Soul Priest lives. That's cool. I guess I'll spend the Forbidden Words on a 2 2. Hopefully, he doesn't have Innervate Soul before us. Nice. I'd like to find a better spell than Forbidden Words to play here, but that's fine, I guess. It really sucks that we need Forbidden Words. Like, on a one power minion, it still spends all five, so I couldn't heal up my Pyro. Wow, that was his whole turn. I don't have my other circle, so maybe I just want to play the Akanai. I do have another board clear. I don't really want to give him something to just run a Mulch Muncher into. What is Elune's will? Don't really want to waste my Shadow Priest. Maybe I just pass? Or maybe I just tempo Zilliox. I think I just pass. Maybe this is too passive. That's actually pretty annoying. Let me change your mind. At least I got to steal something. But I'm definitely scared of just four two twos. Savage Roar is a hell of a card. I wouldn't quite be dead to it here, but I'd be very close. Very close if it was two Savage Roars, is what I mean. Wow, he made a 4-6. I can Shadow Word Death plus Zilliax here. Could also just go like Bump, Bump, Mass Hysteria. 
which I think is usually a clear, but not guaranteed. Shadow Word Death Zilliax definitely seems like the way to go, though. Alright, Zilliax killed a couple things, that's pretty nice. Do I want to play Mass Hysteria here? That was his second one of these, right? But I know he has at least three more 2-2s two in his hand. What if I Cleric heal this? Value trade. Drop the Convincing Infiltrator. This might be greedy. I'm just so reluctant to use my board clears in this matchup. I think I like Seance on this guy. He lines up really nicely against most token druid boards. Let's see. Swipe definitely gives them some pretty clean trades here. I guess I just mass hysteria. I did pick up the second one, which made that a little bit easier to stomach. But it wasn't the craziest mass hysteria by any means. I could just Akanai and shoot the 2-1. It's my second Akanai and I do still have a circle in the deck. I guess I should just play it. Let's Divine him first though. But yeah, kill his biggest guy, make his board smaller, generally good against Token Druid. But I've also seen two swipes already, so maybe this is just hard to deal with. Or maybe it gets him to spend some mana. Well, probably doesn't really have to spend any mana on a Mulch Muncher. Then I can, like, mind control a Mulch Muncher, maybe. Man, Circle of Healing is the draw, huh? Easiest fucking game of my life. I don't really have a good answer to the second half of this. Might just have to mass hysteria it. No, probably not. I'd probably just hear a power trade. Well, he gets to trade into this. I don't know. I'd probably have to mass hysteria. <laughs> Definitely feel like I'm not in the greatest spot right now. I mean, I have seen both Forest Aid, both Whispering Woods, a Force of Nature. Dude, look how sick this mind control is about to be. I don't think I can die here, right? What if he has like double roar? Pretty close, but I don't think it's gonna kill me. Is he gonna kill my 4 8? Yes, please kill my 4 8. 
I think he did that a little wrong, didn't he? He overkilled my guy by one, so he could have held this and then buffed the squirrel. Maybe I'm wrong, but I think I'm right. The future is clear. Squirrel, Blessing of the Ancients, and Savage Roar. It's gotta be Blessing of the Ancients, right? I do still have one Shadow Priest in the deck, but I probably don't really need to save one of these. So, say I kill a 3-3, he goes... What, he's got four in play, Blessing of the Ancients is six, Hero Power for seven, Roar puts him up to 13. I've already seen another Roar, I've seen Swipe. I don't think I have to worry about... Um... Like, I think I can just leave this thing up as a 3-3. I don't need to burn my other scheme just to heal for three. Hopefully I didn't miscalculate, but I don't think there's really a way to get punished for it. Alright, that's a lot of buffs. I can just clear his board though, right? And then I'm in a pretty good spot. Wow, he just gives up there. Wow, okay. Man, that was really tough. I thought this was going to be a pretty good matchup when I built the deck. But I was just barely able to deal with everything. If I had missed a single, uh, single Pyro or Mass Hysteria or whatever, that would have been really rough. Alright, let's see if we can out-control the Control Warrior. Um, I guess this is a Fatigue matchup, right? So let's toss the Clerics. Sure. I haven't played against straight-up Control Warrior yet. I played against a Mechathune and a Dragon Warrior. But I'm interested in the, uh... The one that just goes to Fatigue and plays Elysiana. Hopefully I can steal Dr. Boom, that'd be sick. Maybe I hold this until turn 6, give him as many turns as possible to draw it. Is he really going to be getting any of the other cards out of his hand though? What would he just play? I guess he might like shield slam this or something. I really don't want to shield slam. I'm going to hold the Madame Lazul. I think it makes some amount of sense. Also it's nice that I picked this up relatively early because obviously it goes nicely with my Shadow Priests. Four mana, four seven. Also, this guy is bomb warrior, right? I think of all the warriors, bomb warrior is probably one of the better ones for me because I can always just heal out of his bombs. Not entirely convinced that that's true, but it seems, you know, reasonable. And do I just want a Zilliax here? Kill this, eat this weapon charge, heal up to 30. Could also just value trade here and play this thing. Makes his weapon kinda suck. Yeah, let's make his weapon kinda suck. I guess I could have also just gone for a soul priest that turn and it would have punished him for killing this thing, but that seems like not a big deal at all. Well, that's a really good card to go with my Lazul this turn. I think I play both of those. Kind of committing a lot into um, a warpath or whatever. But it just makes so much sense for me to play both the Lazul and the Ooze this turn. Alright, nothing good. I guess I just take a Dynamatic. Does Dynamatic even kill anything in his deck though? I guess it's pretty good at killing Blastmaster Boom, since all the Boom bots are max. Just hit the 7-7. Seven, seven. But I need to have something in play as well. He's probably got like an Augmented Alec in this deck. I don't know, Dynamatic seems fine. So I know he has a Brawl in hand. 
I think I don't use this. I can always hit the second half of the second weapon. I only play one uh, weapon destruction card. Slam. That means he can go in here, but that's a fine trade for me, I guess. Alright, he's drawing cards pretty aggressively. This might be a matchup where I just play the Elysiana before I hit Fatigue. If there end up being a significant number of bombs in the deck. Alright, so I still know of... What, a Dynamatic and a Brawl. The other cards are a mystery to me. I could just coin out the Elysiana here, but that's gotta be too early. Tempo, Soul Priest, let's go. Oh, right. That was kind of dumb into that, wasn't it? Well, that's okay. What was the play last turn? Probably should have just burned the circle and not played anything significant. But whatever, that was last what? turn. Let's steal this thing. The rest of my plays all look kind of sketchy. And I already have another Shadow Priest and the Mind Control. And I'm not expecting this deck to really play any super serious big threats. Uh oh. So I have an Auchenai Circle clear here, but uh, it's a lot of boom bots coming at my face. It's probably still the clear though. It's not like I can afford to just get hit by all this stuff. I could use the Zilliax to heal up for a bit here. What's the worst case scenario? Six bombs, 24 damage. The average is probably, I, I guess it's probably like half that, right? I don't really mind eating half that much damage. I can save the Zilliax to pair with the Dynamatic later. Let's heal first on the off chance my Auchenai survives. God, those bombs hurt. A car! Part of the soul flares in my opponent's deck. I mean, I guess I'm gonna steal it because it's a 9 6. He's way deeper. Well, I guess he's not really way deeper in fatigue because three of the cards in my deck are bombs. But still, this favors me slightly. If he's playing a card, there's gotta be an Elysiana in his deck, so it probably doesn't favor me that much. So this thing's a mech and this thing is not, which makes this sick, and I can even heal up for a lot. Nice. So I dealt with his Dr. Boom, or his Blastmaster Boom, and I'm still pretty close to full health. Damn. That is a really good card to hit off Omega Assembly. Is Harvest Golem good enough to just steal the Shadow Priest? I do have another scheme in my deck, obviously. But it's not like I'm expecting this guy to be playing Ysera or anything like that. So I'll just take a Harvest Golem, whatever. I guess Security Rover would be a good target. There's the Security Rover. I think he has two random mechs in his hand. Am I willing to cast forbidden words on this thing? It's probably fine. Greetings, fellow humans. 
I can coin out a hero power here. Or I guess I could just kill this thing instead of this thing. Or I could just kill neither. I mean, it's a 4-5 and a 3-4. I like killing the 4-5 and healing. And I like killing this goblin bomb because I know he has a brawl in his hand. But yeah, killing the 4-5 is a lot better than killing the 3-4 because he can bump in here and then Harvest Golem cleans up. My opponents had pretty good Omega assemblies, I would say. Ouch, I think I just ate 10 damage. I guess I can mass this area here. What's the best way to do it? If I just play it straight up, these two have to fight, and then these two clear. If I hit in here. Then these two fighting is great, these two fighting is fine. I think it makes sense to hit first. This could have been dumb. Whatever, I'll play a cleric. It's not doing anything sitting in my hand. Actually, I guess playing it does make my Katrina a little bit worse. This guy is not worried about drawing cards. Doomsayer. Wow. I cannot right away. Well, I guess this is the play. Healing up to 11 is pretty nice because now I don't die to double bomb. Okay, well, now I die to double bomb. Also, Bomb Corrupted Blood kills me. Well, this doesn't look good. Katrina has a few shots at a Taunt minion. What could Power Word Shield draw into? Forbidden Words would be helpful. Divine Hymns, okay. I think it just makes more sense to put my faith in Katrina. Looks like I'm probably getting wrecked here. That's a taunt, though. So Harrison never hits me here because this thing dies and kills it. That's still the worst result by a lot, though. Can I just play Elysiana here? I almost sort of feel like I have to. Like, if I just wait until I draw my Seance, there's so many chances for me to just die. I don't know. I definitely don't love this. Tunnel Blaster is the biggest, so I'll pick it. Extra Arms is sort of the biggest, so I'll pick it. Faster Root, same reason. No Me, same reason. Uh, these are all trash. I guess I just take Holy Nova. Heal up. So I'm done with Bombs and I'm done with Corrupted Blood. That's good. Um, I have six pretty big minions in my deck, so if I can just draw those and tempo out, that'd be really nice. Chef Nomi is not great. Let's draw a card. I think I really want to be healing. So I'll play a 4-7 instead of this thing. May have made more sense to let this die and put 2 health on this. I don't know, I'm happy with this thing dying though. Rude. 
Ooh, extra arms. Extra arms is sick. I can get this up to 11 and it survives. Is that better than just double bumping and playing faster route, though? What I mean, it's pretty nice to just have two things in play. I kind of like it. I could play the Ooze. I'm pretty sure he's out of weapons. But I just don't really want to throw it into a Brawl or a Warpath. Oh, he's not out of weapons. Okay. Well, I'm glad I saved the Ooze. Like a genius. I have to heal up or I'm dead on board. Well, I could have oozed instead. But it doesn't look like he really uses the Super Collider that well this turn. Okay, maybe he uses it kind of well here. Gets to pop both of these. I don't really know that that's great for him, though. Is he going to double trade? I mean, the Zilliax probably goes face. So if I bump Holy Nova, this thing survives. So I guess I have to mass this area. Do I bump here first? I think I don't bump first. I don't know, mass this area math is so hard. This way, this way. Yes! Alright, broke his weapon. Up to 5 health. He's under Corrupted Blood Pressure. So he only has 4 real cards left, right? Brawl, Elysiana, Baleful Banker, and an Omega Defender? That sounds right. Plays 2 Super Colliders and a Barista Lynchon. Okay, so I just don't know what I'm talking about. Well, I can heal and play a 6-6. Then I'll be at 1. I'll have to heal to not die to this. I think I like Holy Nova to take this out. Look at all this breathing room. I'm at 8. 8 hell. Oh, of course. He still has that left. So... I mean, this has to be an Elysiana, right? He's just waiting to draw Boom. This thing's actually pretty good here. If this isn't Elysiana, I think I win this game pretty easily from here. But I, of course, am expecting it to be Elysiana. And honestly, I might just beat Elysiana. Because at this point, I wasn't really trying to hold these Nomis for fatigue. But at this point, I think I can. Why do you... How do you play Hakar Paladin, or Hakar Warrior, without Elysiana? Doesn't that just make no sense? Am I crazy? Well, I mean, even if he wasn't playing Hakar, I would have won this game, right? Because he would just be out of cards. It just looks way more dumb when he takes, you know, 12 damage for free or whatever. But yeah, Elysiana's good against bombs, I guess. After playing around with this deck for a little while, I actually think it felt pretty okay. I was able to win just over half my games, but it's sort of hard to really evaluate that stat when you're playing at Dumpster Legend. On one hand, I queued into some Lucent Bark Druids, which I think is pretty much just a free win for this deck. But on the other hand, all the rogues I played against had Academic Espionage, which I think my deck just can't beat most of the time. So it's a little bit difficult to evaluate just how strong my 50-whatever percent win rate was, but it did feel like the deck did powerful things. The one flex slot I was playing around with was this Acidic Swamp Ooze, I also tried Shadowbird Death and Omega Medic in this slot, 
I feel like they all have their own merits in various matchups, and they're all pretty reasonable cards. Outside of the slot, I think I was pretty happy with the deck overall. If I wanted to change one more card, it would probably be the Mind Control. It's just a little bit big and clunky, and most of the value stuff people are playing is like Elysiana, and Mind Controlling that isn't really that good, since you don't get the battle cry out of it. So Mind Control could maybe go. Um, if I was going to replace it, probably with a Shadow or Death would make some sense. Uh, like I said, this was one of the cards I was playing in this Ooze slot. Seems like it's pretty good against early Edwins or early Mountain Giants. I can't really think of any other cards I would really want to put in the deck, but if you do find something, I think maybe cutting a Convincing Infiltrator would make some sense. The card felt powerful, but of all the remaining cards it seems the most cuttable. With that said though, I can't really think of what I would be cutting this for, so I think this 30 card list looks pretty solid. My only reservation is whether or not it can beat Rogue and Warrior consistently. My guess is it probably can't, because nothing really beats Rogue and Warrior consistently. But it definitely felt like it had some reasonable matchups, and Token Druid in particular felt pretty okay.